dudes right here will give you a coin, okay? They will give you a coin on your toes, and we not having that. Cute feet around here. We ain't having, I don't want no coins on my toes. Leaving me, dipping out on me, already gave you what you needed, I guess, quickly. Learned yourself through me, already gave you what you needed, I guess. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadira Yasmin. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe before you leave. And if you've been here, welcome back. Today, guys, I will be showing you all the luxury items that I regret buying. Guys, I am at a point in my life where as though I'm only buying things that I that I need and that I love. I will no longer be buying things because I want it. But before we get started, guys, I'm just letting you know that I am sipping on some strawberry lemonade. This is a virgin drink, so... All right, guys, let's get started. So the first item, guys, is this MCM clutch. Now, it's a cute little clutch. It's, it's roomy, you know. It's, as you guys can see, it's in perfect condition. And um, I don't like this bag. Yeah, I said it. I don't like this bag. I really don't like this bag, guys. And the only reason why I have this bag is because it came with my tote bag. So this was like a, you know, a second addition to my tote bag. It came with it. So I had no choice but to get it. But the reason why I don't like it is because I'm scared to carry. I feel like it's going to pop for some reason. Like it's giving me, this bag is giving me cheap. You know, it's giving me cheap. Like, when I carry things in here, it's, I don't know, it just feel like it's not stable. So, when I carry things in here, I try to carry the minimum amount of things in here because I'm thinking that this is going to pop because how it feel. I just don't like how, they're, how they made this. I really feel like, see how this side is made and it got like a hoop right here? Now, I feel like if I carry things, now you see how this side made. Now, I feel like if I carry things that's too heavy, it's going to rip the whole zipper part off. You know, I feel like they should have made another hoop on the side and had it like that. And then I probably would have loved it or and made the strap a little thicker. The strap is too thin. So I feel like if I can't, I feel like if I carry my keys, my phone and my little wallet in here that I'm going to pop this. So. I barely, I barely carry this because of that. And I can see if I can take this strap off. I can't. Now, I probably could try to, like, hide. No, I can't hide it because I'm going to rip this part. Yeah, guys. So, this bag is poorly made to me. It's really poorly made. Like, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I really don't. So, this is one purchase that, even though I love my tote bag, or whatever. I just don't like this. Now, now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about it, I could carry it like this and leave the strap down. But what's the point of the strap if you can't carry it? You know? So, I don't know. Like, I really dislike this bag. So, I'm thinking about putting this bag on my, um, my website and selling it. But I need to come up with a price. I probably wore this bag twice. This bag is in very good condition. Like, very good condition. But... I don't like it. Like, I just really don't like it. They need to remake these. You know? I understand it's a little extra that comes with the tote, but y'all giving up extra, give up extra goodness. I can, I don't like this bag. Like, I really don't. Yeah, it's not my favorite. It's not even, it's not even in my top 10, you know? But the tote bag, I love the tote. But y'all, y'all... Y'all could have kept this. Like, y'all really could. Y'all really could. So, yeah. This is my least favorite out of my collection, guys. Yes. All right, guys. So, moving right along. Next up is my very first pair of red bottoms. Now, I wore these red bottoms about probably like 10 times, I would say. Yeah, I would say about 10 times. I had these um, since 2015. And what I don't like about them is, let me show you guys the whole shoe first. So, 
So what I don't like about these are, you see how this side have that? And then you see how this side have, don't have that? I prefer the shoe to have this all the way around. Like the back good, the, the front good, but it's just this side. So when I wear these shoes, basically they like bend, they bend right here, you know? So I don't like that. I really don't like that. And also, these was my very first pair of red bottoms. And I always thought um, your shoe's supposed to be tight on your foot. So I bought my exact size. So these are really tight on my foot. And I don't like that neither. You know, I don't like that. So, you know, I wish I would have went a size up or a half size up. But I don't like these shoes. Like, I really don't. They are poorly made to me. I can't. It's no support right here. Like, so these are my least favorite red bottom shoes. I I, I regret buying these. Like, I really do. <laughs> I really, truly do regret buying these. I feel like these are a waste of money. Um, And second of all, they hurt. You know, they hurt. Which all red bottoms do, but they hurt. And... They poorly made to me, you know, they poorly made. And I wish I knew better because I wouldn't have bought these. So yeah, guys. So these are the second item that I um, regret buying. But like I said, I had these since 2015 and um, yeah. <laughs> Like, oh my God, I would never buy this style again. Um, I think this style is a RZA, I think it is. Yeah, I think this style is a RZA, something like that. So, yeah, I I, I like my shoe to be full, like a full shoe. I feel like it's a full shoe until you get to this side. And I don't like that. Like, I can't, I hate that. I was so mad when I first put my foot in these and they started bending. I'm like, what in the world? Why is my shoe bent? I paid all this money for these shoes and they bend them. These were $6.95 just to bend up, you know, just to bend up. But yeah, guys. So that's the second item that I um, regret buying. So next up is these Barberry sneakers. Now, guys, let me tell you one thing. I am not a sneaker girl. Like, I'm really not a sneaker girl. But I told myself that I was going to start getting into sneakers, and I like more of the Chuck look kind of sneakers. But I'm starting to like like other kind of sneakers, but I haven't, like, really tapped in and got them yet because I'm really not a sneaker girl. So um, I do want to change that. But I love the detail on these sneakers. Like, I really love the detail. I really do. I love the Chuck look. I love that. I will always love the Chuck look. But these sneakers hurt my feet. Like they rub against my toes. They like they are a little big. They are a little too big. But they are so uncomfortable on the toe part. Like so uncomfortable. Like and I don't really like wearing socks with my sneakers because it's like it just don't give what it need to give with the socks. So. I like wearing my sneakers without socks. And they hurt. They are very uncomfortable. I tried. I wore these twice. Yeah, I wore these twice. Yep. I wore these twice. And both times, they, like, irritated my toes. And I just kept saying, why did I buy these? Why did I, like, why? What was the point? You know, what was the point? They, like, they wait. Like, I wasted money. Well, let me not say I wasted money. It was gifted to me. So was the MCM bag. <laughs> but it's still money waste. I could have got something else, you know? So, yeah, guys. But like I said, I love the Barberry in the side. I love the Barberry print. I love the whole shoe. Like, the sh it's a really cute shoe. Let me show you both of them. It's a really um cute shoe. But I just, they just hurt my feet. Like, they really hurt my feet. So, I'm going to try to find the most ankleless socks I can find. Because I don't like when your socks, when my socks is peeking out my shoe. 
like a like you know if they put be ankle socks i want them to stay ankle sock and like hide down in there so if i could find some um real low low socks i'm gonna try to wear these one more time and give it another try if not i don't know what i'm gonna do probably give them to my daughter or they'll probably just sit downstairs in my closet and collect dust or i might sell them you never know but only wore these twice guys only wore these twice and they are in very good condition like really good condition so yeah guys so don't be surprised if you see these on my website for sale but guys they hurt they really hurt they really really hurt juice is really good guys but sometimes it just be too sugary all right guys so next up is my barberry bag now what was i thinking buying this bag i mean it's a cute little bag but it didn't even come with this handle i bought this i i seen another girl on youtube with this bag and she made it like a top handle because she ordered these handles off of Amazon. So I went and ordered these handles off of Amazon. So basically I made this bag a top bag, but it's still not giving me like a top bag. Like it's weird because I made it a top bag. It's actually a drawstring bag. So if I didn't have this, I would be carrying a bag around like this. And that is not cute. Like it's not cute. Like, this bag is roomy or whatever, but I hate the drawstring. And, you know, I'm just like, I feel like, I don't know, like, they need to remake this bag. And add handles, their self. Me forcing handles on here, I mean, it's not bad, but I'd rather for them that make their own handles, you know? But like I said, it's it's really roomy, you know. It's great quality. It got a little zipper um thing down here. But how much can you fit in here? Can't really fit much in here. I got some change up in there, but you can't really fit much in here. You know? So this was another purchase, you know, that I made that I regret. $400. I think this was like 4 20 something like that 410 420 something like that this was also a gift to me but still like uh i bought this bag because you know how you don't want to burn the pockets you want something of luxury but you really don't want to burn the pockets so it's like you know you being gifted you don't want to be greedy so it's like so you try to find something luxury but you try to find the a cheaper cheaper um luxury piece you know y'all know how they go you try to find a cheaper um one or whatever because everybody got bills everybody ain't got no money to keep spending on luxury every five minutes but you know me i always want a bag or a shoe but i try to be reasonable so i'm like let me find some um, luxury but a, a affordable price and 410 was affordable price but it's like i don't know like i regret buying this i do I wore this about 10 times, and I haven't touched it in a long time. I have not touched it in a long time. Do I have plans on getting rid of it? I'm not really sure. Like, I'm not really sure. Because I don't hate it. I do regret buying it, but I don't hate it. But probably because I put the handles on, you know, I made it to a bag. Otherwise, I couldn't live with this. <laughs> I could not live with just this drawstring. I don't like that drawstring. I mean, it's fine because I got the handle, but I don't like the drawstring. So, yeah, guys. This was another purchase slide. Y'all know. All right. So, moving right along. The next item, guys. Now, I know y'all probably thinking this is a full shoe. So why do you hate these? No, why would I say hate? I ain't mean to say hate, guys. Why would you regret buying these? Okay, so listen. 
These are black patent leather. Like, I love black. Red is my favorite color. I love the red on the bottom. Like, I just love a red bottom, y'all. I do. I really do. But, like I said, me thinking I know everything, and the first time I bought my first pair of red bottoms was in 2015. And, like I said, I always wanted a tight shoe. I thought that was what you're supposed to, you know, have as a tight shoe. But, baby... These are too tight. These are small. Like, they are so tight on my feet. Like, it's crazy. Like, oh my God. These are ridiculous tight. Now, mind you, I wore these a few times. But, I regret buying them. I wish I would have got a size bigger. Like, I really would have wished I got a size bigger. They are a really nice, sexy, bad shoe. But they're just too tight. And it's like, sometimes when you buy things and you really need to wear them, you ain't really got time to take them back. So you just like deal with it. But then you regret it at the end of the day because it's like, this is a luxury shoe. Costs a lot of money. And this was also $6.95. And, you know, you don't want to pay money for something that you don't love. That's a lot of money. And once you wear them, you cannot get your money back. So, me being naive, oh, I finally got my black pair of red bottoms. I'm all hype and happy. And they hurt my feet. They too tight. They is too tight. So, yeah, guys. So, only thing I can do with these are either um, give them to my daughter or sell them. You know? And the thing is, guys, the first pair of red bottoms is a nine. And these are a nine and a half. And they are still tight. These, I think because it's a whole shoe, I don't know, or patent leather. It might be because of patent leather. These feel tighter than the first pair that I showed you guys. These, like, hug my toes, like, where though they hurt so bad. So bad. So, yeah, guys, I regret buying these. I really do. I really wish I would have went up another half size. I really wish I would have bought a size 40. Because I do have a 40. I have a 40 in the gold pair. And they are perfect. They are perfect. I mean, after a while, your feet still hurt. But, like, when you first put them on, you first start walking, they good, you know? Versus to these, these, like, killing the toe. These, these shoes right here will give you a corn, okay? They will give you a corn on your toes. And we not having that cute feet around here. We ain't having, I don't want no corns on my toes. I really don't. So, yeah, guys. So, uh, y'all, if anybody want to buy these shoes, hit your girl up. Hit your girl up. You can either email me. You can even comment in my comment section. And I'll put them on my website. And you can purchase them off my website. Yeah, so, listen. Listen, guys. So, yeah. They just, I don't know, like. They're a bad, sexy shoe, but they too small. And I regret. I mean, I I, 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 I regret buying them. But I refuse to keep wearing them. Because I'm not trying to develop no corns on these toes, okay? So, yeah. So, like I said, if anybody want to purchase any of these items, and I'll let you know if they're going to sell them, you can email me or you can write me down in the comments. Whatever. Listen. And we can come up with a price. And I'll let you know if I'm selling that or not. Okay? But, yeah, guys. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my video. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye. See you in my next video.